How to add Firebase email verification when a user signs up with his email and password in a Flutter app, then this user needs to verify his email first to get full access to the app. So far we have created the sign up page and if we click on the sign up button, then we call the sign up method and inside of it we call then this create user with email and password method on our Firebase auth package and inside of it we define an email and this is the email that we want to verify right now. Therefore, inside of the main page, we have created a stream builder. And every time if we have created an account, then we are going to our home page. However, this time we also want to verify our email and therefore we create a page in between. Inside this widget verify email page, we create a boolean flag if the email is verified or not. And by default, it is not verified. And within the build method, depending on this flag, if it is verified, then we show a home page. Otherwise, we will create another page instead. Next, within the init state method, we want to get the is email verified flag. So we want to update it from our current user. And therefore it is important that we have created before this user already, because only on this user you can get this is email verified flag. Now that we have this flag, if our email is already verified or not, we can decide what we want to do. If it is not verified, then we want to send a verification email. So let's also create this method. Inside of it, we get again the current user and then we call on it the send email verification method. So you always need to have a user to also use this method send email verification. Otherwise, it is not working with Firebase and Flutter. In case something goes wrong, then we also want to catch it and show it inside of the snack bar within our UI. Let's also try it out. We put the email and password inside and then we click on sign up. And then it goes first of all to the verify email page. And we also get an email within our email client. And inside of it, you have a link with which you can verify your email. Before we click on this link, we want to check after we have sent the email verification, the status, if we have verified our email. Therefore, we check every three seconds a method check email verified. And we also want to put this timer inside of a variable within our state and also make sure that you dispose this timer in case it is not used anymore. And now we want to create the method check email verified that is executed all three seconds. And inside of this method, we want to get then the status if our email is verified. Therefore, we can get the current user. And here we get the status if the email is verified. And the important thing is that we need to reload the user every time before we call this is email verified because the status can change. And therefore, we want to get from the Firebase the new status after the email verification. And finally, we check if the email is verified, then we want to cancel our timer so that this code is not executed anymore. And with this, we check not anymore the email because it is already verified. Make sure to click on hot restart so that the init state method is called again. And with this, we have created this timer that is now right now in the background executing every three seconds. And it checks if our email is verified. Now we can go back to the email client and because we have hot restarted the application, we also get another email and inside of this email, we click on this link. The browser opens up and it says your email has been verified. And once the email is verified, it will automatically redirect to the home page. And this is because inside this check email verified method, the flag is email verified is updated to true after we have verified our email. And with this, we can go to our build method, which is rebuilt. And then we display the home page instead of the verify email page. At the end, we also want to improve this design of the verify email page. Therefore, here inside of it, we want to display first of all a text that a verification email has been sent to this email. And secondly, we also want to create a button so that the user has the possibility to click on this button to resend an email. Therefore, if we click on this button, then we want to call this method send verification email that we have created before. If you like, you can also check within your email button, first of all, if you can resend the email because you don't want to allow the user to always click multiple times on this button. Therefore, we create within our state this Boolean flag if he can resend it. And finally, after we have sent the email verification to the user, then we want to set the flag can resend email to false, 
With this, the button that we have here on the right side will be deactivated and after 5 seconds we activate this button again. And lastly, below the resend email button, we want to create another button that is a cancel button. And if we click on this button, then we want to call the Firebase auth sign out method. And with this, if we click on this cancel button, then we cancel the email verification process and go automatically back to the sign in page. So to sum everything up, first of all, we are on the sign up page and when we click on the sign up button, then a new user account is created and we go to the verify email page. It is important to notice that the user is then already created within the Firebase authentication tab under the user section. But before the user can enter our app, he needs to go to his email client and he needs to click on this link to verify his email. Also, if he clicks, for example, on cancel, and then he tries to sign into this account that was already created. Then he will also go to the verification email page and the user gets then also a new verification email. And the only way how he can enter the app is by clicking on this verification link. And now once he has verified his email, he will be signed into our homepage. And of course, once he has verified his email once and we sign out again, and then if the user logs in again and he has already verified his email, then he will automatically go to the homepage and he doesn't have to verify his email again. At the end, I want to emphasize again that before the user has verified his email, he is already created inside of this Firebase authentication user tab. And this is because you can only send the verification email if you have created before a user object. However, inside of your Flutter app, you can always access on this user the property email verified and then you can check if he gets more access or not. So you can use this inside of your app. And within the Cloud Firestore security rules, you can give the user read and write access in case he has, for example, only his email verified.